What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a minute for sure since I've been on, but I just kind of wanted to put together a little quarantine slash Love Island update for all of you guys. Um, so we'll start with like my quarantine update, like what I've been up to, what I've been doing to keep busy, um, just kind of things that I've been working on and whatnot. So obviously all of this started happening, what, like late February, early March. So since then I decided to stay out in LA. So I'm living in West Hollywood. Instead of going home to Michigan to be with my family, I thought it would be better for me out here with like the nice weather. Plus all my siblings are home from college. So it just made a lot more sense. And it was like a lot safer for me to stay here rather than go home and be around my parents and get on a flight. So what I've been doing to stay active is a whole bunch of different things. I've been watching Game of Thrones, I watched all of Ozark, all of Tiger King, a lot of different movies I haven't been able to see yet. I watched Little Women, I thought that was great. Like doing two is calling a friend and then we both go on mute and then take ourselves off mute if we have something to chime in about the show that we're watching. So that's been good. I've definitely taken a lot of time to FaceTime people I haven't talked to in a while to use the time to catch up with people that I haven't spoken to. So the shirt I'm wearing today is made by shop girls girls it's like a cute little knockoff like you've saint laurent t-shirt and she also sent me a sweatshirt too i love both pieces you should definitely check them out i'll link them below um it's not like sponsored anything i just think these are cute shirts um so yeah i i took a quick clip too that i'm gonna insert of what i do when the weather's nice i go sit up on the rooftop of my building and i'll read or listen to an audiobook i just finished after we collided and i might start um where the crawdad sings next let me know if you've read that and you like it because i'm debating whether or not that will be my next audiobook i also rewatched all the harry potter movies and i audiobooked the beetle and the bard that was also an interesting but like good read too if you liked the Harry Potter series. It's kind of like a branch off of it. It's uh, The Beetle and the Bard. It's essentially the book that Hermione gets from Dumbledore when he like passes away in his will. But I have a quick little video, I'll insert it right now, of what I do when it's a sunny day here. Because for the most part it's been bad weather. But whenever it is sunny, this is what I do. So I just wanted to be able to show you guys where, when the weather is nice, I have been coming up to the rooftop to lay out and get some sunshine. I read, I listen to like an audiobook up here. Um, this is kind of like what my setup looks like, so I'm not supposed to be on the roof. Um, but I found a little secret door over here, let me like zoom in, so I don't have to walk over there, that I come out of and come up on the roof. You can see like all of LA. The ocean's over this way, and basically what I do with my little setup is right now I am defrosting uh, half of an acai bowl because they're so sugary that I usually only eat half of one if I'm going to eat one in the day. So the blend is like, still has a little bit of like the coconut shreds in it and whatnot, but it's defrosting and then I add my own toasted granola to it that I get on Amazon so good also i'm such an idiot i grabbed a fork instead of a spoon i'm so pissed and then i'll like write stuff in my planner these are just like little note cards where i write like daily ideas down and whatnot my planner has like stickers in it um if you come to like april obviously not a lot is going on <laughs> but yeah and then i have my trader joe's organic coconut oil that i use when i'm laying out I usually put like a hat on and then I have like my sunglasses that I wear because my eyes and my face I don't want to get too much sun I've also been breaking out like crazy lately I brought a LaCroix up here here's my little like beach bag it's from Urban Outfitters it's so cute it's tie-dye uh, I think I got it on sale yeah let me slip my sandals on real quick and show you kind of the rest of the views from the roof so I decided I am gonna walk over here and kind of try to show you there's like a little ladder right here but there's always spiders on it like let me zoom in on this web if you can see it oh yeah so spider webs everywhere like i can't even imagine the size of the spider that probably lives in that web i'm gonna try to climb up this so i don't hit the web at all because i actually don't mind spiders and i don't want him to be hurt or anything but yeah this is where i was sitting out earlier but i got a couple bug bites the last time i sat up here so this is like most of LA. I'm crying laughing. I'm in a bikini right now so I can't imagine if someone is watching me 
walk around slowly. Um, and then downtown LA is right here. And then past downtown, the ocean is, like I said, this way. So yeah, this is my view from the roof. And I've been like keeping myself sane coming up here and just finding like some peace and quiet. I play some music and listen to all my audiobooks, like I said. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's just like a short little clip of me being on the roof. Um, some upcoming art projects I've set for myself to do is I'm going to tie-dye a bunch of stuff. So I got this little tie-dye kit. Oops, I just ripped it. Well, I'm going to open it soon anyways. From Amazon. I think this was like 10 bucks or something. Maybe it's more now. But it comes with uh, protective gloves, rubber bands, instruction sheet. And I'm just going to like tie-dye some pieces. I've been seeing a ton of people doing this lately. And I, I swear I liked tie-dye before tie-dye was even cool. So... I'm gonna make some pieces. I got some sweatpants, plain white from Boohoo. Um, that was like the only store I could find sweatpants from for like a women's size, so Boohoo still has them. And they were on sale too, so I got both of these for 30 bucks. And then I also got um, just two sweatshirts from Amazon, plain white, like a one that has the hood, and then one that is the crew neck. And then I also put together a bunch of old whites, like tank tops I don't really wear anymore, or stuff with like stains on it, or white socks, and another little white like t-shirt I got from Amazon that I'm going to crop. So I have a bunch of things, and then this is going to be my bucket I'm going to use like to tie-dye in, and I got like uh, some cooking grates that I'm going to use to ice dye and, you know, do a YouTube tutorial, or watch a YouTube tutorial on how to do that for all these. So I can't wait to do that art project. Another one I have is I saw this like Balenciaga bag, and I'm making like a knockoff of it um so i got it from urban the black bag it was like on sale for 40 bucks and i got white spray paint and white paint markers and i'm basically gonna draw like my own graphic design on this bag instead of um the balenciaga one that's really expensive so and this will be cool just to have like an art project to do too so I've been like trying to come up with creative ways to keep myself busy. I'm sure everyone has. I've been doing workout classes from either YouTube or my old boxing instructor um, on Zoom, which is great. Uh, I've been trying to stay active. When it's nice, I'll go for like a run outside. Um, I'm totally social distancing. I haven't been able to hang out with anyone, which does suck because I already felt a little alone moving out here. But you know, it's like we're all in this together and everyone's going through the same thing. Definitely um, have had heightened anxiety at times. So I'm gonna try to post a video on like all my tips about dealing with anxiety really soon. I'm gonna have that for you guys. I just didn't wanna mix that with my quarantine update of like what I've been doing. But I've definitely found some methods that have been helping with my mental health throughout all of this. And you know, just trying to have a good grip on it and stay as positive as I can. But like anyone, I've definitely had my good days and my bad days, for sure. Um, ooh, so back to like what else I've been reading. I just got um, this. I'm rereading it. I already read it. I'm reading it through again and going back and highlighting because there were so many key things in this. My friend Will Nichols recommended I get this. It's um, Times Edition of The Science of Creativity. I got this on Amazon. It was 15 bucks and it's just it's so informational and really cool about just like creatives and the way we view creatives and I really like this especially if you're into like advertising or marketing it's a really cool like fun read and then I also got this book the art of the creative rebellion and I'm pretty new into this um, I took a break from reading this to continue with after because it's like a romance stuff but I'm gonna go back to this and try to read some more of this and I'll let you guys know how this is but reading definitely helps you know take my mind off of you know all my racing thoughts and everything that's happening um I've definitely had not immediate family members but um you know people within my family uh get corona and it was like definitely very tough for them and it's just been crazy you know hearing about people I know that have had it um people that I know as grandparents that have passed from having it like it's just crazy I feel like this is the biggest thing to happen in our lifetime like if you're someone around my age you know since like 9-11 happened which is just wild like who would have ever thought that something like this would happen in our lifetime like so crazy so for the most part I've just been trying to not stay super cooped up in my room I've been trying to work on like projects I've been trying to do a lot of TikToks I really like the TikTok videos um so if you don't follow me there yet it's ewebs is my username you should head over there um, I've done some live streams with some friends, um, 
my friend Connor Staley from The Bachelor, Alex Stewart from the show, Emily Selch from the show. I've definitely FaceTimed a lot of the other people from the show to like check up on them and see how they're doing. And I feel like everyone's pretty much in the same boat where, you know, this sucks, but you know, it's affecting everyone in one way or another. As far as like Love Island updates, I personally haven't received any from any of the producers or anything that I've been in contact with about knowing about extension dates of the show's deadlines or when things will end up airing or be filmed. Like I think everything is super up in the air still. Um, I do know that they like cut off taking submissions or applicants um, for the show because there's no way to like interview anyone right now by flying anyone out here to meet them. Oh, a little like couples update. Um, I think the only last remaining couple is Ray and Caro. I'm not positive, but but I'm positive. Um, Ray and Caro are the last ones, so congrats to them. They're super cute. Um, oh, and we have a new couple too. Uh, Yaman and his new girlfriend have like gone public. He posted a really cute Instagram with her. You guys should go check them out. They look adorable together. I think too, I didn't address Yaman in my last video because he was still in like the early stages of the relationship with this girl, so I didn't want to like put that out there and make it public information yet. But yeah, they are really happy and super, super cute together. I also forgot to add earlier some games that I have been playing with my roommates. Um, this game is awesome. It's called We're Not Really Strangers and it's basically a game about connecting on uh, a level more than just a surface level. It's a really cool, cool game. Like I highly recommend this. If you're quarantined with family or if you're quarantined with people you don't know that well like this will really break down some doors and you'll enjoy playing this also i'm laughing because frankie never likes to hang out with me but of course right now she wants to hang out with me i think it's because she's on the heated blanket <laughs> and then obviously i also love Catan. this is actually a new one i was gonna buy it for my roommate to play but he already has it so we have a second one set up downstairs that we've been playing and i literally love this game so much fun what if you have any other questions about like how to stay busy during quarantine or just any like thoughts or like concerns you've had like feel free to comment below i'll try to get back to like everyone oh and last i am super super excited about this but i just got the nintendo switch uh, Animal Crossing edition and I'm gonna be playing Mario Kart and I'm gonna post my gamer tag or whatever it is and hopefully I can start playing some of you guys on those games or adding you and I'm excited for that to you know use that to pass some of my time as well. I think everyone too should just be doing what they can while they are quarantined whether it is like um, you know consuming any kinds of you know art or knowledge you know whether it's reading or art projects or working out you know to stay active while you're being quarantined and not just you know sitting around because it's just going to make you an even worse of a headspace so as long as you can just keep staying busy you know cook learn new things um, I think that's how you're going to come out on the other end of this a lot stronger and a lot happier and just be ready to pick up life you know, right where it left off once this does pass. Yeah, so please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, please give this video a like, it helps me, it helps my channel, and comment below maybe something you're doing during quarantine or any other ideas you have for me to do during quarantine, I would love that. Or if you're gonna use any of the ideas I just gave for you, let me know. Thank you so much guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.